I'm Arm Benconi and welcome to our show. We have I'm in Aspen and I met Eno Song who runs a mutual fund in China and we've been talking about his fund and what's going on in China today so we're very lucky to have him on our show. As you've seen in previous shows, the Chinese stock market had uh, been really falling down in the last couple of weeks. We saw it close three times. When it goes below 7%, they automatically shut it down for the day. Their debt to ratio is at 70%. So the first question I want to ask, you know, is just describe in simple terms this debt to GDP ratio that's going on in China. And, and to us, we look at that as seven years ago, the subprime recession. Is that how it feels in, in China right now? Is it feeling like it's at a crisis epidemic level? Uh, I don't think so in some ways because, you know, uh, in in terms of uh, a subprime crisis, yeah. uh, actually uh, you guys use lots of uh, leverage. Uh, we could see uh, uh, um, some uh, lots of uh, uh, financial stuffs is uh, a little bit over or valued or something like that. But uh, in a local market, yeah, we're facing lots of problems. Uh, but uh, the local governments actually uh, reissue the debt uh, with the uh, lower rates, and uh, I think that's probably is a way to 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 get the risk off right now. So local governments inside yeah. of China are yeah. actually able to. Um, resize, reframe, reissue the debt. Reissue the debt, yeah. With so, the uh, because it, the w from what form of authority can that happen? Because I, uh, the way I'm trying to understand that is, you have the Federal Reserve that's just going to say instead of a um, hundred million dollar debt. We have a twenty million dollar. So probably debt. this is. They're just wiping it off the books. Yeah, no, I mean this is a probably the uh, the long stories. Different structures of the government, different uh, st structures of the you know uh, the uh, the regulators. You know. Right. Yeah. So what does that do to the people who have the capital who've been investing in the markets? Does it stay the same for them, or are there are theirs being restructured? Yeah, uh, I mean. It's ha it has been re-instructured because you could see uh, the interest rates going down and uh, probably in the long term uh, uh, you could just uh, see the trend right. of the in interest rates. So uh, uh, if they don't uh, accept that, probably they will lose more money. So that's what we talk about uh, in that kind of situation, probably the right way to sort it out. A lot of Chinese money is co coming out of the United States and going into uh, into the dollar because it's strong. We're seeing this happen throughout the world right now. It, I mean, there's really not a, a good market anywhere. It's sort of like um, even the United States market can't be said as a good one, but mm -hmm. it's the best of the bunch right now, except mm -hmm. for possibly India's. Mm -hmm. um, where where do you see? Uh, we're seeing this outflow of, of Chinese dollars. I think what smart individuals in the United States who aren't buying into what we're seeing on mainstream business news mm -hmm. is China's not dumb. How are they going to get out of this? Are they going to do any type of taxing? Are they going to try to figure out maybe how to bring interest rates below zero? Or where are they at right now? Yeah, we. I mean, uh if you're talking about strong dollar, uh, that that means you know uh, um, hot money will getting out of the uh, emerging markets, and then they probably rush in the uh, dollar zone, and mm -hmm. uh, you could see the assets in dollar will getting higher and higher, something like that. Uh, in terms of China, I think uh, uh, that's. That's that's the part of the uh, that's part of the uh, the problem because you know uh, 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 you could see a weak renminbi right now. Uh, oh, a weak what? Renminbi, the, the local currency right now. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, renminbi depreciated a lot uh, from the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but uh, 
uh, I don't think the government will, uh, 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 I mean, tax people more because, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, because the whole economy is slowing down. Uh, uh, we probably would do on the contracts uh, tax, I mean, people less and to boot the economy and the, I mean, this is, I mean, the core issue, one, the, the one part of the issue is the dollar issue. The other side is, uh, is the, the slowing down economy. Right. How could we boot the, the economy up? Right. So that the, uh, I mean, probably uh, the, the two sides of the, of the question. So I, d I don't want to ask, if you want to answer these questions, yeah. great, but you're running a mutual fund mm. and your mutual fund has taken some kind of a hit, I would mm. imagine. Um, we're doing pretty well. I mean, uh, actually, we we showed it in in the last April. No, it's last June. Yeah. And then we we you we shorted. Just, yeah, mm -hmm. we and we just uh, hold uh, uh, less than ten percent of the position. Mm -hmm. uh, so we actually uh, not did it by the market uh, like others. You you saw it coming. You sat out. Uh yeah. All right. So now what? Are you going back in, assuming that it's going to come? Yeah, back? I'm. I'm what, seeing. What, drill down, r real like here in the United States. Yeah. Military industry yeah. stocks are going up. Yeah. Pharmaceutical stocks are going up. So we might see volatility, but there are some strong sectors in the United States yeah. economy, not ones that I would like to see strong. Mm -hmm. But what are you seeing that's strong out in the future 